what's up guys welcome back to the channel so ios 14 beta 3 has been out both to public beta testers and to developers for slightly over a week now we saw it introduced on the 22nd of july this year and it came with quite a number of features and changes however it still has quite a number of issues and improvements that it needs to undergo so in this video i'm going to be talking about a possible release date for ios 14 beta 4 and also what we expect to see changed when ios 14 beta 4 is released both to the public and to developers so if it's your first time watching on this particular channel make sure you hit subscribe down below so that you don't miss out on any of the latest ios 14 content that we have for you so first things first the first thing that we want to look at is the release date for ios 14 beta 4 so this is my iphone 6s here i've been running ios 14 beta 3 since it came out to developers and to public beta testers as you can see i have the app library and i have my widgets here as you can see and yeah let's look at the calendar app and come up with a solution according to apple releases as to when ios 14 beta 4 is expected to be released so ios 14 beta 2 was released on the 7th of july 2020 so it was released here and if we go back to the calendar we know that ios 14 beta 3 was released approximately two weeks after on the 22nd of july 2020 so that was last week and so according to apple release cycles it seems like for ios 14 betas apple is releasing new betas after every two weeks so if apple continues to follow that release cycle when it comes to ios 14 betas we can definitely expect ios 14 beta 4 to be released somewhere between the 4th of august to the 6th of august which is going to be between tuesday and thursday next week apple usually releases the new software either on tuesday wednesday or thursday so that's when we expect to see ios 14 beta 4 so if developer beta is released on the 4th of august we can expect to see the public beta either a few hours later on the same day or on the 5th of august 2020 that's what we expect to see or when we expect to see ios 14 beta 4 being released now keep in mind that as you update to ios 14 beta 4 and you are coming from another version which is not a beta version of ios 14 this update size will basically come in as a big file expected to come between 4 gigs to 6 gigs so make sure you have enough space and also if you are coming from a beta version let's say you are coming from ios 14 beta 2 or beta 3 then expect this update to be quite a small update for you it can come in around 350 megabytes to around 750 megabytes so so keep that in mind and make sure you have an update and also there's uh, information that is there on the apple page when it comes to updating your device this is apparently a serious issue and if you are coming from another version which is not ios 14 this update when updating to ios 14 beta 4 might actually take longer than expected and if you disturb your device during the update process it might result in data loss so beware of that and make sure you charge up your device or connect it to a power source before updating so that you avoid this from happening now let's look at some of the changes that we expect to see when it comes to ios 14 beta 4 when it comes out both to developers and to the public so if we go into the settings of my iphone here and go to general and go to the about section you can see that the software version that i have is 14 and the build number is 18 a5332 f now this build number has an f at the end and when ios 14 beta 4 comes out we definitely expect to see a better letter at the end of this version unlike the f that we have most probably it's going to be an e so keep an eye on that when ios 14 comes and also the build number will change slightly so that's something also to keep out for and also the modem firmware that i have on ios 14 this is beta 
3 that I'm running on my iPhone 6s is 8.00.00. So when iOS 14 beta 4 comes out, I definitely don't expect to see this modem firmware changed. And also not many people are reporting issues that have to do with connection like cell, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, or any form of wireless connection. So that's why we don't expect to see the modem firmware changed when iOS 14 beta 4 comes. Also, when it comes to the update size, if we were to go to the iPhone storage that is available here, it just takes a moment to load, right? And once it has loaded, go all the way down. We can see that for me on iOS 14 beta 3 that I'm currently on on my iPhone 6s here, you can see that system is taking up 6.82 gig. Now, that is okay when it comes to software update and other is taking up 3.34 gig. So when iOS 14 beta 4 comes out, it's definitely going to be more or less the same, irregardless of whether you are on the public beta or on the developer beta. So that's something that we expect to change when it comes to the software or build number update when it comes to the expected iOS 14 beta 4 release date. Now these are some iOS 14 beta 4 changes that we expect to see when the software comes out and the first one for me personally has to do with the widgets. As you can see the widget for me here that I have is displaying cappuccino so i did go in and change my location to the current location that i'm in in canada and regardless of that it continues to show cappuccino and also after updating to ios 14 beta 3 that i'm currently on my widgets were sort of blacked out so i had to like restart the device so that they can show but if i go to the widget section here you can see that you know some of them are still blacked out and if i was to even add them to the screen you can see that they are still black out i have a weather widget there that is showing however the new one that i added won't even respond to click so that's something that i expect ios 14 beta 4 to fix when it comes to widgets or issues pertaining widgets and software update stability so that's something that i personally experienced and the next thing that i'm experiencing has to do with the camera app basically so let me just restart my device so that i show you you can see that you know here my camera app is working as it's supposed to right but the moment i restart my device there's sort of like a delay right so let me just switch it off quickly and notice when i turn it back on right the camera app doesn't work right there and there it takes like about 35 or 40 seconds for it to be able to respond so let me quickly turn it on and then i'll show you what i mean by that so that's something that i basically expect ios 14 beta 4 to fix when it comes out and let's just wait for it to quickly boot up uh, and then I show you what I mean by that. It has a delay that is so, so much. So it's just started. And as you can see, if I open my camera app, go to the front or back camera, it's basically blacked out, right? So it takes about 45 seconds to basically show the camera app. And if I close it and come back, you can see that it's still not showing, right? So front or back camera, it has a delay. And as you can see here, it's now showing. So that's something that I definitely expect iOS 14 beta 4 to fix when it comes out. This delay is terrible. And let's say your device was off and you want to quickly shoot at something that's passing by or an event that just happening, you can see that this would definitely not help you out and so this is one of the other things that i expect ios 14 beta 4 to fix i did report it to apple using the feedback app that is provided in here this is the feedback app and basically if you are running beta software you can easily give feedback to apple with regards to issues that you are facing so that's also something that i expect to be fixed now again something else that has been removed with ios 14 beta 3 that i'm running here is 3d touch and if i go into my settings and go to accessibility right there and go to where it says touch here uh, you can see that you know i used to have 3d touch right here right but as you can see i no longer have that option to be able to turn 3d touch on and off so that's something that came with the uh, ios 14 beta 3 update and it's a non issue that many people are reporting and so if you have a device that supports 3d touch 
this is apparently not available at the moment and you cannot turn it off and on and yeah that's an issue that you know we expect to see fixed when ios 14 beta 4 comes out something else that we expect to see fixed when ios 14 beta 4 comes out is basically the keyboard so many people are reporting issues when it comes to the full keyboard as you can see for me i actually don't have issues but most of my subscribers are reporting issues so if you were to open the app store which i'm in by the way and then just type something right sometimes it crashes let's just search but yeah, as you can see for me, it's working and there's no crashes at the moment, but a lot of people are reporting that the keyboard crashes. And also if you support certain specified languages when it comes to iOS 14 beta 3, those languages might not show up as you set them up on the keyboard. So that's also something that we expect to fix when it comes to iOS 14 beta 4. Quite a number of people are reporting issues when it comes to iOS 14 beta 3 not working with HDR after updating. So if that's an issue that you are facing, I did report it to Apple and apparently a lot of people are facing the same issue and that's something that we expect to see fixed when it comes out. So now let's look at the community pool. I did get a resounding update when it comes to the community pool those who took part thank you very much for having a say in the community pool so as you can see we had about 117 votes when it comes to ios 14 beta 3 response so that's i think probably the highest number that i had when it comes to ios 14 uh, community pool and from the total number of votes you can see that 36% said iOS 14 beta 3 is great. So that is great to see that most of you are having no issues or very few issues when it comes to iOS 14 beta 3. And the second highest number basically says I'm on iOS 13.6 or older. So that number did rise from the previous pool that I had. So probably because of some of the issues that continue to remain throughout beta 2 and beta 3 of iOS 14. So that's the second number and about 3% said that this is a terrible update. So that number is actually so low and hopefully some of the issues that I've mentioned that we expect to be fixed and changes coming with iOS 14 beta 4 will help this 3% out and also 21% said okay but a few bugs here and there. I feel like this is my vote right here. iOS 14 beta 3 has been quite okay right but it does have its own issues so if I had to vote I would vote with a 21% here and about 15% said I use Android. Now this 15% did go up from the previous pool that I did so hopefully some of the bugs or issues that we are facing on iOS 14 beta 3 will be fix with ios 14 beta 4 when it comes out now let's look at some of the comments that uh, we have here so the first comment that we have here is from rajesh and it says for some reason the keyboard on my iphone 6s plus always bugs out and i can't even type and reply messages so that's an issue that is known and it has been reported and also tech pro here says amazing on iphone 11 pro so that is great to hear that ios 14 beta 3 is working great for most iphone 11 pro max and then tech revealer says ha 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 great but android user here so i guess he's one of those that voted android above when to make up the 15 percent and then juliana here says pretty good on se 2016 and 6s so i'm basically testing it out on my iphone 6s and yeah i would say it's pretty okay you know however it comes with its own bugs and issues and ian tech says ios 14 beta is amazing on the iphone 8 so that's great to hear that for iphone users it's quite okay also and also nikki says it's running incredibly well on my iphone 7 and iphone se first gen i haven't experienced any major issues so far only a few small bugs with the widgets here and there 
battery life is amazing on my iphone 7 with 94 percent max so thanks for that vote nikki and that's great to hear that for both of your devices it's actually working as it's supposed to and ian take basically says first this guy is actually super fast when it comes to uh liking videos and commenting so thanks for the support bro so basically that's about it when it comes to ios 14 the community pool and a few comments now let's look at how battery wise my device is doing so if you go into the settings there and then go to the battery section you can see that the battery maximum health capacity that i have on beta 3 is 80 percent now before updating when i was on beta 2 it was on 80 percent and it continues to be on 80 percent and when ios 14 beta 4 comes out i definitely don't expect this to change as it has been like this for a long time over quite a number of betas now let's look at my screen on time that i had in the last 10 days let's see for example this date that i used it quite a lot so you can see that here i had about 13 hours and 34 minutes screen on time and that is basically using about 125 percent of battery charge so as you can see it's been amazing and most of the apps that took this battery performance has to do with the screen and youtube taking up the most so that's incredible you know for an iphone 6s that has 80 percent battery health maximum capacity 13 hours 34 minutes is quite good and let's see how this device has been performing you know performance wise so as you can see if i close most of the apps right and open like something like settings you can see that it opens up fairly quick uh there's no slight delay or jira when opening most of the apps and i actually did run geekbench 5 scores so let's see the scores that i got here we'll start off with this time around with the gpu performance so if you open compute performance here and go to the history of compute performance here we can see that you know this is on the 29th of july the, this is the results that i ran now now and you can see that for my iphone 6s here the result or score that i got for gpu is 2157 now this is quite okay but if we were to compare to other iphone 6s average you can see that they have 2203 and my score or my device that i have here scored 2157 so it's quite on the low end but you know you wouldn't be able to tell as it's a difference of about 50 but that's not too much i expect to see a better gpu improvement with ios 14 beta 4 when it comes out now let's look at the cpu performance when it comes to my iphone 6s here so if we go back and go to cpu performance this is the result that i just did now now you can see that for single core i have a score of 554 and for multi core i have a score of 1023 now this is kind of the same as what i had last time you can see that last time i had 558 for single core and for multi-core i had 1038 however if we're to compare this to the other averages that devices have you can see for multi-core average iphone 6 has a score of 990 and i have 1023 so you can see that for multi-core my iphone is actually performing slightly above average for multi-core and if we go Go to single core here you can see that you know my iphone is also performing slightly above average as you can see so basically i'm quite happy with the performance that i'm getting when it comes to ios 14 beta 3 and i definitely expect to see even better performance when it comes to ios 14 beta 4 when it comes out so basically that's about it for me guys when it comes to ios 14 beta 4 the expected update that we are waiting for if you like this video please leave a like and hit subscribe down below and thank you very much for watching this video stay safe and i will definitely see you in the next upload